Good evening, and uh, thanks a lot uh, for coming uh, to this uh, conference, which is proposed uh, to you by the UPA for Urban Psychoanalysis International Agency, <laughs> <laughs> and by the Collective Exist. which is a group of architects at the origin of the project. Uh, before presenting you the results of a study we have made uh, about a sort of uh, family with the city of Helsingur, Helsingborg, and <laughs> We wanted to recall you that this uh, study takes part in a bigger project which will consist in psychoanalyzing all the world. <laughs> Through a five years study, which is going to end the 24th of December 2013, <laughs> it's a Tuesday, <laughs> at 11 uh, p.m. Uh, in New York, in front of the headquarters of the United uh, Nations. You are welcome. <laughs> because the hot coffee is going to be served to you. And so, also, uh, before presenting the results of our study about this family, we would like to thank all the partners we had during the investigation, uh, for example, the Helsingu Theater, the Donker House of the Culture of Helsingborg, and the Street Theater of Helsingu and Helsingborg at the same time. <laughs> Thanks also to the Strategic City Development of, uh, uh, Office of Helsingborg, the City Planning Strategic Development of Essingue and the Development of, of the City Development of Strategy of Cocodile. <laughs> I don't know any exact names. Uh, thanks all the historians, uh, gardeners, landscapers, uh, researchers we have met. Thanks also to the Rotary Club, Rotary Club. Uh, breakfast club, <laughs> diner club, no, 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 no. and other clubs less famous. And thanks a lot, of course, to all the staff of the restaurant of the TK Rai boat when we spent one night to investigate and where we get most of the information you're going to discover. And thanks, of course, there are some people uh, uh, here involved to the uh, friends, the people, we uh, who took part of the operation <coughs> events we have made in Helsingborg, Helsingu, uh, Kukode, Helsingu, Bredensburg, Bredensburg again. 
And you, you see, we invited the people who were crossing the, in the cross streets to sit down and answer to a, question, a Chinese uh, interview. Uh, this is a Chinese interview where we ask, for example, if Essenborg was a fruit, what kind of fruit <laughs> would it be? And people uh, compared Essenborg to a kind of peach because it's a very sweet city. Or uh, they compare it to a pumpkin. You see a pumpkin? Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Red, orange, uh, orange, and juicy with a coach inside. Inside, what, who is going to appear? Helsingu was more compared to a coconut <laughs> because it's a hard city where people work hard. They compared, some people compared Helsingu with an over mature uh, avocado <laughs> <laughs> and also with a cauliflower. You see a cauliflower? <laughs> it's a vegetable which looks, which looks like a brain because they say that it's a city with more brain than money. <laughs> Cocode was more compared to a strong chili or a date because it's hard and ugly uh, outside but sweet and soft inside. <laughs> Concerning the animals, Helsingborg was compared more to a dolphin, a funny fish, because, it's a, uh, because he can be taught, trained and he smiles all the time. Our the city was compared to a chameleon because it's an ad adaptable city and it doesn't uh, belong to anybody. Or uh, the city was compared to a lion, a lion who likes to show off a successful city, a big arrogant, self-content, idealist, but nice. <laughs> While Helsinger was <coughs> more compared to an elephant, a whale, a whale, a whale, a big fish, you see, a whale, a whale, a whale, or a turtle, because it's a slow city. And his inhabitants were compared to ants, because they work hard, they, they run in many directions, but they are not so efficient. <laughs> While Kukude was more compared to a lost dog, a wolf, and an eagle because it's beautiful but scary. <laughs> As an identity, Helsingborg was compared to uh, 45 uh, very active women expecting a lifting on the new pair of breasts for the future. <laughs> While Helsingborg was more compared to an old man, pre-retired, looking for something to do during his retirement. And Cocodal was more compared to a teenager uh, looking for something to do, a job or a playstation. As a gift, Esingbo was expecting a mixer to mix the population, a trampoline to jump somewhere else, a victory in the Champions League, and a tunnel to Esingbo. While Esingbo was waiting for uh, a new breath, uh, and the uh, second uh, industrial uh, fairy tale, a uh, bridge also to Helsingborg. While Co Cocodal was looking for a bridge to the future and someone with an idea to transform a, a sleeping city into a dreaming city. 